Hello, this is Chance Venable with Scanifly. Welcome to a guided video tutorial of our software. In this short video, I'll walk you through the basics of Scanifly to help get you started. This is what we refer to as the My Projects page on Scanifly. You can think of this as your home page. It's the very first page you will see after logging in to Scanifly. Be sure to bookmark it if you haven't already. Before we continue, it's important that your browser view looks like the view that's shown on the screen. If your view looks different, Use your browser's zoom settings to adjust the view of the window so that all of the information is clearly visible in the Scanify interface. We also recommend using a keyboard and mouse for ease of use when working in Scanify, as well as an up-to-date version of Google Chrome browser for the best user experience. Let's take a second to look around the page. From your My Projects page, it's possible to create a new project, manage and search your existing projects, access your team settings to manage your team permissions, and access your individual account settings, which includes your profile, company information, login and security, as well as billing information. Depending on the existing privileges for your account set by your company's account admin, you may have more limited functionality in the account settings menu. Before we get started, let's use the search feature to pull up a project. For a more specific search, there are filters we can add, such as by folder, by date, and even by using the map view. For this example, we'll just search by name. After typing it in, you should see your project appear on the list. Select the project with a left mouse click to access the project's design page. Now, we're viewing the project's design page. There are four different sections within the design page. Customer info, project info, drone images, and design. The customer info tab is where you can view or edit the project name and project address. You can also input customer information such as their name, email, phone number, and monthly utility data. The Project Info tab is where you can select which teammates are associated with the project as well as which folder the project belongs to. The Drone Images tab allows you to view all the drone images that were uploaded to create a model. Last, the Design tab allows you to view different versions of a design you created on one model. This tab will also give you a quick glance at the system size, annual solar access, annual production, annual consumption, and PV system offset. You can also quickly preview the model in 3D, view the solar access throughout the year, view a production versus consumption chart, and access the full 3D model and design tools by clicking the Scanify 3D button. To be able to access Scanify 3D, your account must have the Scanify 3D permission selected. Let's say you want to view your team, add a teammate, or edit your teammate's permissions. Depending on your account's permissions set by the admin, you may only be able to view your team. If you navigate to the left of the My Projects page, you'll see a Team button. Click on it to view your team. To add a new teammate, click the plus button on the right and fill out the information to send the invite. By clicking the button at the top right of each teammate, you can edit the teammate's permissions or remove them from the team. Teammate permissions can be toggled by selecting or deselecting the plus button on the left of each permission. For example, if you're a surveyor, you may only need the permission to create a new project because you're uploading data from the field. On the other hand, if you're a designer, having access to Scanify 3D is key. To remove a teammate, simply click Remove Teammate and then Confirm. Now, let's find your account settings. Navigate to your name at the top right of the My Projects page, left click, and select Settings. This will take you to your main account settings page, where you can edit your account profile, company information, login information, and billing information. Depending on your account's permissions, you may or may not be able to see the billing tab or the company info tab. For example, this account does not have access to billing, so we don't see that as an option here. Let's start with the account profile section. This is where you can edit your name, your role at the company, and your phone number. In the Login and Security section, you can edit the email associated with your account, as well as the password by entering and re-entering a new password and selecting Save. The Company Info page allows you to upload your company logo, change your company name, change your company's headquarters address, and also add company folders to store your designs in. To get back to the My Projects page, Navigate to the left of the screen and select My Projects. We hope you enjoyed this quick overview of the My Projects page on Scanify. 
In the next tutorial, we'll go over how to create a new project. If you have any questions about what was reviewed in this video, feel free to reach out using the chat feature on the bottom right of the screen. Thanks for watching.